A new team has made its way to Vigo County and hopes to go to bat for the next generation of students in the Vigo County School Corporation. It was one of several items addressed at tonight's meeting. Taylor Williams attended the gathering and joins us with more right now. Taylor. There is no I in team. That was the message from Dr. Robert Hayworth. And with that in mind, school corporation officials work to create a community and a corporation that benefits everyone. You don't see this every day. Vigo County School Board members leaving their seats and becoming part of the audience during their meeting. It's to help shine a spotlight, literally, on issues and topics surrounding the school system. Uh, it is that team concept. It is how do you work collaboratively and to be able to demonstrate to our community uh, that we're going to be transparent, that we want to work collaboratively. Team Vigo is Vigo County's version of TED Talks. The talks will be given at the first meeting of every month. In light of last week's bus crash involving a county bus and the death of three kids in northern Indiana, Monday night's emphasis was on transportation. We actually have at least, at least 20 to 22 different variables that we use to measure safety and security within our department. Also, during the start of every meeting, students from each Vico County High School will give reports on good things happening in the schools. Again, in our community meetings, we're hearing, we need, we like to hear positive news and, you know, for, for a student to stand up in front of a crowd of 40 uh, and to share the great things that are happening at their schools, that's a great skill for them. Plus, as you can see in the faces in the audience, there were some things that were happening that we were just kind of blown away with. The board also heard from representatives from a company that helps write wording for policies. The company is helping provide direction for the corporation about conflicts of interest and nepotism. If the school hires the company, called Neola, it'll cost $20,000. The policy could take anywhere from six months to a year to complete. We want to be seen as listening. Uh, we want to be... Um, uh, seen as trying to build collaborative teams, and I think having people here that want to collaborate with us uh, was great. Throughout Hayworth's time as superintendent, the school board meetings have seen a growth, and tonight it was standing room only. Hayworth says the growth is from people wanting to get involved and work together to build better schools and communities. That's always very good. Thank you, Taylor. Along with the new Team Vigo, there was a second reading of the conflict of interest policy and the nepotism policy. Also, the third reading of the Bond Oversight Committee was read. The next school board meeting is December 10th.